Welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next question with derivatives. We have to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve f of x equals the square root of x squared minus 9 all to the power of 3 at an x value of 5. So we got to find the equation of the tangent. We know the tangent is a line, so we're basically going to be finding y equals mx plus b. So first step is we have to find the slope of the tangent, or that m value. And how do we do that? Well, we have to find the derivative of this. And then once we have the derivative, we can plug in that x value of 5, because we're finding the slope of the tangent at that specific point. So let's rewrite this function that we have here. However, that square root, I'm going to change to the power of a half. I always like to take any radicals and change them to rational exponents. So we'd have x squared minus 9 to the power of a half. And then that there is going to be to the power of 3. And then notice that we could just multiply those exponents. So we got x squared minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So we haven't done anything in terms of the derivative yet. We just took the function and sort of manipulated it in order to get a more simple function to derive. And now we can get into finding the derivative. So notice that we're going to have to apply the chain rule. We got a function x squared minus 9 within another function like f of x to the power of 3 over 2. So we take the derivative of that outside function, bring the 3 over 2 down. Function inside the bracket stays the same. 3 over 2 minus 1 gives us 1 over 2. And then we're going to multiply it by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. And then notice these 2s will cancel out here. And then we can bring the x in front, so we'd have 3x x squared minus 9 to the power of a half or the square root of x squared minus 9, whichever way you want to write it. And you actually don't even have to simplify this derivative here because we're finding the equation of the tangent at that specific x value, so you could have just plugged in an x value of 5 right away. But this derivative is not too complex, so I thought I would simplify it first. So now, what's the derivative at an x value of 5? Well, we'd have 3 times 5 here, and then we'd have 5 squared minus 9 to the power of a half. And this would be 3 times 5. 5 squared minus 9 is uh, 16 to the power of a half is 4, square root of 16. And then this is going to be 60, 3 times 5 times 4. So we know the slope of the tangent is 60. And then last step is we have to find the b value. So the b value, the way we can do that is we can just plug in that slope that we found, 60x plus b. And then we can just plug in the point on the function for which we're finding the equation of the tangent on. So we can plug in an x value of 5 here. And then this y value, we would have to find the y value on the original function. So f of 5 would be what? It would be the square root of 5 squared minus 9 to the power of 3. And then 5 squared, 25 minus 9 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So 4 to the power of 3, which would give us 64. So we're finding the slope of the tangent at a point 5 and 64, which is a point on that function. So when we plug in that point 5 and 64, we'd have 64 equals 60 times 5 plus b. 60 times 5 is 300. Then 64 minus 300 is negative 236. So that's our b value, so our final equation is going to be 60x minus 236. That's the equation of the tangent line on this function at an x value of 5. So not too bad of a question. What you want to do is you want to first simplify this function with the rational exponents. Then you derive it, get the derivative, plug in 5 to get the slope, which is 60. 
and then we use the slope of 60 and the point on the function to solve for that b value. Now this point, sometimes they'll give you the full coordinate, which is nice. Sometimes they'll only give you the x value. So then you have to find the y value by plugging it into the function. Technically, they can also give you the y value. I haven't seen too many questions like that, but they can give you the y value and then you'd make this whole function equal to 64 and then you'd have to solve for that x value of 5. But uh, usually they give you either only the x value or the coordinate, but just be aware that they can also give you the y value and then you have to find the x value at the beginning of the question because you have to plug in that x value for the slope, for the derivative when you're finding the slope. But either way, follow these steps. That is your final answer.